In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Grazia Domini nostri Jesu Christi et Caritas Dei et Communicatio Sancti Spiritus et Cum Omnibus Vobis. Frater Sacnos Camus, peccata nostra, ut aptissimus et sacra misteria celebranda. Miserere nostri Domine, ostende nobis Domine misericordiam Tuam, Miseriato nostri omnipotens Deus, di et dimisis peccatis nostris, peducat nos ad vitam eternam.
Oremus. Omnipotent Sampitana Deus, qui nos omnium sanctorum tua vum merita, sub una tribuisti celebrata venerari, quesumus, o desideratam nobis tue propitiationis abundantiam, multiplicates intercessoribus, intercessoribus largiaris, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Fideum Tuum, qui tecum vive et regna in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio Libri Apocalipsis Beati Ioannes Apostoli. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were giving power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees, until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angel, angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Verbum Domini.
Lectio Epistolae Beati Ioannis Apostoli. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. Verbum Domini. Dominus vobiscum. Et Lexio Sancti Evangelii secondo Matteo.
When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you, and persecute, persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Verbum Domini We have um, heard singing the uh, verse before the gospel, the Alleluia verse, saying, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. This is um, um, the... Th the what it is all about on the solemnity of all saints. We feast and fed the harvest of um, the church, and that are the saints. They have labored, they have burdened, but for them it was a, let's say, a joyful burden, because it, was their, it has become their identity. They did things out of themselves, not because they had to, with, uh, with reluctance, no, they really gave themselves entirely. And sometimes even without understanding. And that is the beautiful thing of, for example, the queen of the saints, Mary. How often she had to meditate on things happening or said to her. And yet she always said yes. That is the challenge also for each one of us. There are many things in our lives we don't understand. But instead of sitting down and doing nothing, the word, the motor of our spiritual life is all kept in this one small word, and that is yes. We say yes to life. Let us pay attention of every time when we say the word no. I don't like, I don't want. That is stopping life. The challenge and the saints, they show us what that inhales. And that is, when you say yes, even on the unknown, then things can happen. As I say very often here in this church, we have one problematic thing about our God. And that is, he does not impose himself. He can only propose. This is what I would like you to do. Do you want to? Yeah, you tell me what to do. No. God can't. He just proposed. And to us it is the, the challenge to say, yes, I believe. Yes, I want this. And then miracles can happen. Even the one of conversion. One thing I like a lot of the saints is they were not born perfect. Many saints 
knew the moment of conversion. And saying no to oneself so we can say yes to God and our brothers and sisters. That is the encouragement of today's feast, the challenge also. Let us take a moment of silence to meditate on that one person in our life who needs to hear from us a yes instead of a no.
Oratre fratres, ut mea mag vesrum sacrificium acceptabile fio da pedeum patrem omnipotentem. Grata tibi sint domine munera, que procunctorum offerimus honore sanctorum, et concede, ut quasiam credimus de sua immortalitate securos, sentiamus de nostra salute solicitos, per Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, Sosum corda. Gracias agamos, Domino Deo nostro. Vered in your Matthews to Mestic, um et salutare, nos tibi sempre dubique gratias agere, Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eterne Deus, nobis enem hodie, civitatem tuam tribuis celebrare, que mata nostra est, Celestisque Jerusalem, obiam te in eternum, fratrum nostrorum corona collaudat. At quam peregrini per fidem accedentes, al lacrita festinamus, con gaudentes di ecclesia sublimum, Sacrificatione membrorum, quasimo fragilitate nostre, ad iumenta ed exempla concedis. Ed idio, com ipsorum angelorum que frequentia, onate magnificamus laudis voce, Clamantes. Sanctus est Domine, fons omnes sanctitatis, ec ergo dona quesum o spiritis tui rore santifica, ut nobis corpus et sanguis fiant, Domini nostri, Jesu Christi. Qui cum passioni voluntarie traderetur, accepit panem, 
et gratias agens fregit, dedit quid discipulis suis dicens. Accipite et mam ducate ex hoc homnes, hoc est enum corpus meum, quod provo bistra detur. Simili modo posquam cenatum est, accipiens et calicem, iterum gratias agens, dedi discipuli suis dicens. Accipite et bibite ex eo homnes, hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, novi ed eterni testamenti, Qui provo bis et promultis et punditur in remissionem peccatorum. Hoc facit en meam commemorationem. Mysterium Fidei Sigitum oftis et resurrectionis eius, tibi domine panem vitae et calicem salutis offerimus. Gratias agentes quia nos dignos abovistias tare coram te, et tibi ministrare. Et supplices deprecamur, ut corporis et sanguinis Christi participes, a spirito sancto congregemur in unum. Recordare, Domine, Ecclesia Tue, tot orbe defuse, ut eam in caritate perficias, una cum Papa nostro Francisco, et Episcopo nostro Gerardo, et universo clero. Memento etiam fratrum nostrorum, qui in spe resurrectionis dormierunt, omnium quentua miseratione defunctorum. Et eos in lumen vultus tui admite. Omnium nostrum quesimus miserere, ut cum beata Dei genitrice Virgine Maria, beato Iose suo sponso, beatis apostolis et omnibus sanctis, qui tibi a seculo placo verunt, eterne vite miriamur esse consortes, et te laudemus et glorificemus per filium tuum, Iesum Christum. Per ipsum et cum ipso vatini ipsum, est ibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula, Seculorum. Amen. Precepti salutaribus moniti, a divina institutione formati, audemus dicere. Amen. 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 
Sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicud in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et demite nobis debita nostra, sicud et nos demitimus debitoribus nostris. Set libera nos a malo. Libera nos quisimus dominat omnibus malis, da propitios pacem in diebus nostris. Od ope misericordiae tuve adiuti, et de peccatus simus semper liberi, et ap omne perturbationes securi. Expectantes beatam spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Domine Iesu Christe, qui di sixti apostolis tuis, pacem relinquo vobis, pacem meam do vobis, Ne respicias peccata nostra, set fidem ecclesiae tue, eiam que secunda voluntatum tuam pacificare et coronare dinieris, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Offerte vobis pacem. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui toli peccata mundi, beate qui ad cena am agni vocati sunt. Domine, et sanabito anima mea, corpus Christi custodi, ad vita mea.
Oremus. Mirabilem te Deus, et unum sanctum in omnibus sanctis tuves adorantes, tuam gratiam imploramus, que sanctificationem, in tue amores plenitudine consumantes, ex hoc mensa peregrinantium, a celestis patria convivium transeamus, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus.